Hey guys, I just picked up this lift from Harbor Freight. I got a 20% off coupon. I was in the market for a mid-rise lift. I'm limited to my ceiling space. So my friends here, we're gonna get this thing assembled, show you what it takes, what you need. So let's go ahead and get started with the Harbor Freight mid-rise lift. So here's how the hoses come assembled. You got your arms, handle for the pump. I, you do need to pick up the hydraulic fluid, as I said. Big one for most people is you have to wire the plug here. So you're gonna need to get yourself a 220 plug and also obviously you're gonna need a 220 outlet. Hey guys, how's it going? Here to help, if I can. That's pretty decent. I'd say that's gotta be 10, 12 feet. Should work out fine because your pump's gonna be over here in the corner. That's about where the lift's gonna be. That's decent. There's really not much to it. It just has a hot lead, a hot lead, and a neutral. Or ground, in neutral in this case. So I'm gonna have four. And I think I, these plugs have a couple of different options as far as what you can use. How do you wanna, what are we going for? I think what's your plug? It's a straight. A couple of straights, but one smaller than the other, correct? Yeah, I think it's uh, standard on that plug for that. I'm gonna go take a peek at your outlet. So it's gonna use the round on top. Yeah. The fat and the skinny. So the these two are gonna be your hot leads and this is gonna be the neutral. So that's gonna go to green. One's gonna go to white and one's gonna go to black. Doesn't matter which one it is. They're both uh, 120 volt going to it. I be littering, do you? So it's gonna be that one. And that thin on the right. And a fat one on the left. I gotta set them up so the, the leads are going in the right direction. That's what we got. Yeah, that's it. Well, this thing, Moves with such grace. I'm afraid I'm gonna go drop it. So I say we pull the handle to it. It should have four bolts that are not there. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think they ended up? Oh man! Bet you they're metric. <laughs> oh boy! This is why you, this is why you put things together, folks. As soon as you get them. I'm surprised that like a little bag or something not taped to it. Oh, you know. There was! <laughs> <laughs> well, my friend found some Honda CR125 bolts that fit, and I found one. So the CR125 project may never get put back together for this reason. I'm glad I wire wheeled these subframe bolts, because that's what they are. <laughs> yeah, there's no 13s on a, uh, that's going to be a 12, but. <laughs> Oh, leverage. That's a little easier from the right. Very here. nice, very back here. <laughs> <laughs> you think you can come with any instructions or what? <laughs> I just throw those away too. <laughs> so this is my favorite part of the video. I get to put my front brake assembly on just the way I like it. Just like that, perfect. Blew it across the sky. <laughs> Try to neutralize that twist. So it lays flat. Might be okay. Need fluid. Now we need fluid. Would you say two gallons it takes? I think I read six and a half. Six and a half? No, uh, quartz. Yeah, I was about to say. That's, I don't have the directions. 
<laughs> I don't think it even came with directions. I'm not sure. sure. Yeah. So we. In the hole. That's not gonna fit. Nope. Oh! Oh! Safe. Oh. <laughs> you don't want to go too tight in here because the air's going to have to come out. <laughs> I'll worry. No pressure. Find out it takes like power steering fluid or something. Something totally different, yeah. Can you see on the side of it how far up we're going? No. I'm gonna guesstimate right about. Well, how many quarts is in that? That is two gallons, eight. Oh, it's two gallons. All right. Yep. Yeah. More? This is about. You got about half in there right now. You got a light just looking there. Cause you, cause right now the pistons are all, all the way collapsed, so the flu, the reservoir is gonna be its highest. When you go to run the lift, all this fluid's gonna run down. Right. So you just want to be at airspace, probably right under that neck by about half inch or so. All right. So just to recap, we did the plug. We got our nice and tight. <laughs> we got, I call it the front brake because I'm an old motocrosser. There's no, uh, usually- we, Want me to tighten that for you? Well, I was saying, usually, <laughs> usually they have the, uh, the insert so it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't yeah, twist. Sure. So you got the hydraulic hose on, we got our hydraulic fluid in. Can we turn it on now? There goes my phone. Jesus, man, you weren't even close. <laughs> you get that for you. Better? And there's your safety. Got it. Safety first. The first time you get to run it, you have to bleed it anyway. Yeah. I say we take some time. These hoses. Well, it looks like the hydraulic hose is definitely much longer than the hose that is on the pump. So we should probably just leave that little service loop in it. And you get an electrical tape right in, we'll just tape them right together. Yeah. And no, I'm not leaving those little tie wraps on there. Those things will stab you and cut your hand. Well, that looks better. Ready for the smoke. I was gonna say, newly wired 220. In a corner. <laughs> Is that right, Colonel? Yeah. I don't know. We'll find out. Barrel. Yeah. It's gonna take a bit for the fluid to get through it. Do not look like they're sitting in the saddles. They should be, they're on the wrong side of the saddles. They let it down. These have to be on the top side. Yeah. This is where you want the aluminum version. Lies. <laughs> 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 Pretty high. That'll oh, crush your car into the ceiling pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Let's go put our arms on.
Ooh, this works for us. Not too bad. Yeah. Granted, I'm not the one that was pulling it. Oh, I'm trying to use a fire bar. <laughs> I say we need a car. We have one. <laughs> it's not a car. What is it? Rough the old single jack. Oh, let's bring it in. Before you raise it, make sure she's nice and snug. All right, so we got one button to go up. Now we're gonna lower it down onto the safety lock. There it is, and we're good to get to work. All right guys, so this is the operating height. That was fully extended and then we lowered it down to the safety. So I just want to give you guys a quick overview. I've never had a lift. Just happened to have my friend here who was very experienced giving assistance with getting this thing assembled, showing me the ins and outs so I can get to work on my single cab. But first, we need to finish the 65 Concours restoration. Oh, hogwash, you never finish anything. What an incredible Cinderella story. This unknown comes out of nowhere to lead the pack at Augusta. He's on his final hold. He's four or five VWs away. I think he's gonna hit a two iron here. Oh, he got all that. All right, guys, well, that's gonna do it for me. There's only one Bill Murray. What an awesome scene in Caddyshack. Anyway, just having fun out here. I hope you guys have a great day. Hopefully I'll be in the garage this winter and not in the driveway rolling around in the snow. But you guys have a great day. Thanks for dropping in. We'll see you guys soon. Take care, guys.